Welcome to the tutorial on reviewing annotations in Arctos. One interesting thing about Arctos is when logged in, the collections that you have access to, uh, things about them pop out in this try something random box. And you can see right here that I'm being told, oh, there's 29 unreviewed annotations that refer to UTEP or sciences specimens. Um, I have managed access to that collection and so those pop up. So this is a convenient way to sometimes just pop in on what are all these annotations and can I do anything about them? So just clicking that link will bring me to those 29 annotations and we can look at this first one right here that says none of this matches the verbatim field notes. So assuming I had time or maybe I'm looking for something for a student to help me with, I could have them review the field notes and the specimen record and maybe try to figure out why they don't match. And once that's concluded, I can make a comment here. So either oh, the field notes were incorrect or changes have been made to the specimen record to match the field notes and um, save that review. And then the next time I log in, I would see only 28 annotations that were unreviewed. So that's one quick way to review some annotations in Arctos. Um, but the other way is to come to this page, which you get to by reports and services and review annotations. And when you come to the page by that method, you basically get a list of all annotations in Arctos. And that's might be useful, but probably not much so. I would guess that most um, collection managers coming to this page would look for the annotations in two ways. So one would be to um, filter by the type of annotation. And today I'm gonna to focus on specimen annotations, but annotations can also be made to taxonomy, projects, publications, and media. And probably looking at a very specific collection. So as before, we were looking at the UTEP or sciences, so we'll just pick that one again. And then you can decide if you want to see everything or only the ones that are not reviewed. So I'm going to leave this null and that way I will only get the not reviewed. Filter by that and we should get the same 29 that we got from the link that I clicked earlier. So sure enough, you can see the first one that pops up is the one that we looked at before. So that's one way to get at unreviewed annotations. Another way that I use this is when working with data, if I come across a catalog record that looks like it has something funny in it, but I don't have time to review it now, I'll leave an annotation. And so I can look through these for just annotations that I have submitted. And that'll narrow this down even more so that I can just review the things that I've left for myself. So in this case, for this collection, I have none. Let's just remove this collection specification and see if I have some overall. And I do. So one where I've seen duplicate records. So each one of them has an annotation. And um, this way I can find only the things that I've left for myself to research, which is nice. Another useful tool here is to um, find things that I've reviewed. So if somebody asks me a question about a review, I can search for things that I have reviewed and responded to. Um, 
and that's helpful sometimes when I'm trying to remember. Um, but the annotations are also always associated with the records. So um, let me just quickly, we're gonna look at things that are reviewed. so that I can show you how they appear in the catalog record. So here's one where um, I've done a review for this UTEP record. And so now at the catalog record, you can see here that there have been two annotations that are reviewed and none that aren't. And clicking that will show me the annotations related to this record. So that's helpful. They will always be attached there um, and people can see what annotations were made to this record and what the resolution was um, from this link, which you will find at the top of every catalog record in Arctos. So that's a quick review of <clears throat> annotation review in Arctos. And um, I hope that this will help us get a lot of those annotations reviewed and um, our data a lot better. <laughs>